Usain Bolt, the fastest runner in the world, myself. Not the fastest runner in the world. With holding the record of the world's fastest 100 meter sprint, I can't even go outside to run. To be honest though, I haven't ran in four months. Unless you count running to my car because I left the keys in there with the doors locked. However, I've been letting the extreme emotions of procrastination and laziness control my life, which has led me to become unmotivated and undisciplined towards the audacious goals that I want to achieve. But today, that changes. I'm going to run one of the hardest runs in the world with no training the Spartan Tough Run. An excruciating seven kilometer run filled with steep hills and even the hardest obstacle later in the video. We are 24 hours away from the race and I am not prepared for this at all because I could break a leg, tumble down the hill, or even die. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna die. <laughs> The only thing that could really prepare me for tomorrow is talk to my mom because she's training to run a New York marathon in three weeks. So with her experience, it makes sense that I could ask her a few questions about how she prepares for her runs and how I can implement that into my race tomorrow. How do you deal with the thoughts in your mind that you want to quit? You, you don't feel like doing this anymore? Like, how do you deal you with those what? types of thoughts? I love, that, I love that question, Wyatt. The whole time I was running, I thought to myself, Terry Fox did a full marathon marathon a day for 143 days with having cancer and one leg. But I honestly, I told myself, I can do this. And so there was never any self-doubt in my head. The whole thing about running, it's personal. I'm not doing it for anybody else. And you can go out and you can do it and you feel like you're on top of the world when you're done. What is on your mark? I regret my decision already. <laughs> a little confident right now though. It's only the start though. But things started to take a turn. Oh, I'm already getting a cramp. This is my first run in like two or three months. I'm not sure how bad or good this will be, but we'll find out. Oh, my heels are cramping. Ah, if I change my speed at all, this hurts even more. This is the real challenge. It's a major hill. Oh, shoot. Oh. Ah. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Just go up the hill, go up the hill. And thankfully we made it to the top. Oh, I'm going so slow now. No, I stopped. Shoot. And then I realized, winners don't give up. Winners don't give up. Come on, pain is temporary. The pain is temporary. Oh, shoot. Oh, I stopped again. This is the first lap and I've already stopped twice. I think I keep stopping because my mind, once it gets to a certain extent, wants to quit. Until I got passed by two guys. Hey, good day. You too? Not for my body, but, <laughs> but what do we have here? Oh, well, we got a mud pit right here. Let's get muddy, it's right. Oh, oh, I lost my shoe. No, I need my shoe. Uh, uh, you got my shoe, you know what? Come on, oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, stop. Well, look at my feet now. Oh, that is disgusting. But with one shoe on, I found someone who gave me some motivation. Oh, oh my legs hurt. You can do it! You can do it! Oh. You can do it, Wyatt! Oh. 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 oh my god. Why does running have to be so hard? Even though I'm walking and I have one shoe, my left foot hurts. I just wish I could be good at something at least. I find it so hard to just keep going no matter how much pain I'm in. But I'm just gonna keep running and see where it takes me. But what I had to worry about was fighting through the upcoming obstacles because one of the hardest moments of my life happened. Oh, I made it. Oh. I stopped the end though. Ugh. Oh, I feel like giving up. I honestly feel like giving up right now. Oh. I just had a realization that even though I'm in so much pain and that I just want to give up, what would happen if I just kept going? What if I actually crossed the finish line? The only win I can accomplish from this is giving it my all and crossing that finish line and applauding myself that I did this. I didn't give up even though I walked 
and laid down at a few times. I kept going, no matter how much pain was in my body, and I crossed the finish line. And right now, I'm actually pretty motivated, so I'm gonna get back up and start running again. Little did I know at that moment that it was going to alter the course of my race, so I started to keep running. Oh, those cramps are coming back now. Ah, we're gonna try and beat that. Ow, my foot. No, don't stop yet. Don't stop yet. Ow! 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 Come on. Can rest at the end, why well, Come on, don't stop, don't stop. You're almost there. So Being inches away from the finish line, I've realized how far I've come in this race. It's taught me that no matter how many hard times you experience, you should always keep going and never quit. And with that, let's finish strong. You're finishing, buddy. Ah. You're finishing. You're finishing. That's ah. the way to do it. Ow. Ah. Oh. Ah.